Zimba the king lion is something that exists. And I am partially relieved about that. Let me tell you about my childhood. I have been a dinosaur fan since kindergarten. My mother bought me every dinosaur book I wanted and every new Land Before Time movie that came out on VHS all the way up to movie number 10. But it was not just the Land Before Time. When I was a little kid I would watch everything that had dinosaurs in it. If any cartoon had a random episode where they suddenly had time travel or some lost world I would watch it. And one day my mother stumbled upon a video cassette called The Forgotten Valley and The Abandoned Dino Baby and she bought it for me. What I saw was the most surreal thing of my young life. I remember the protagonist was a lion and he had a bunch of animal friends and they went to a dinosaur valley that had barely any dinosaurs and the dinosaurs also looked terrible and they were shooting lasers at each other. My mother eventually gave the VHS tape away and ever since then it has haunted my memories. Did I really see this or did I hallucinate it? For almost two decades I had suppressed this memory because it sounded so fucking weird that it couldn't possibly be true. I never saw anyone anywhere on the internet mentioning something like this so I thought I must be insane. But no, it was all real. A couple of weeks ago a YouTuber called Saberspark who reviews cartoons uploaded a video he called North Korean Lion King. And when he showed the clips and talked about the fact that this TV show has a lion that shoots lasers and, among various other things, dinosaurs, all the memories came back. I can now assure myself that I am not insane. This TV show from 1995 is called Simba the King Lion and I guess it was obscure enough that Disney never heard of this because surely they would have sued the creators. And yes. This is a co-production between the North Korean studio SEK and the Italian Mondo TV. Because Italy has a history of working together with dictators. That might also explain why VHS tapes of this were available in Germany. Mondo TV are the masters of bad shit insanity. Their most infamous creation is The Legend of the Titanic, a movie in which an evil whaler works together with a gang of sharks to trick a giant octopus with a puppy dog face into sinking the Titanic. But luckily a group of mice dressed as sailors convince the giant octopus to save everybody on the Titanic and make sure that nobody dies. Yes. They made a movie inspired by a real life tragedy and retconned the deaths of 1500 real people. Just wait till this studio gets inspired by Schindler's List. Simba the King Lion has 52 episodes and the VHS tape my mother brought me had only two right out of the middle. I never saw the other episodes but it doesn't matter whether I provide context or not. This is a show where anything is possible. Just look at the roster of Simba's friends. A Bambi ripoff, Baloo the bear, Bagheera the panther, Ka the snake, a poodle who is named Toy because its only character trait is carrying around a toy ball, two scrabble nurses that always carry first aid kits around, a crow with a top hat, an owl with a graduation cap and glasses and two pirate mice who are the only animals completely dressed from head to toe. And people thought the most ambitious crossover in history is Avengers Infinity War. The first episode starts with Simba and his friends hiding in a cave while the villains of the show Shere Khan the tiger and his hyena minion lurk outside. Why don't they just enter the cave? Ah oh, fuck it. One squirrel fucks the snake and then they talk about Shere Khan. I'm ready to go and teach that tiger a lesson he'll never forget. I faced him once I'll do it again. Remember how I got Toy's ball? Okay I know I haven't seen that episode but the 3 second flashback is still fucking pointless. They are now searching for another exit of the cave and why can the old shine light from its eyes? Is it just something olds can do in this universe? The cave seems to be really short 
but on the other side is a huge prehistoric valley that has somehow never crossed over into the modern jungle. No, it's an actual dinosaur! Wow, what an anticlimactic reveal! Remember how the scene played out in Jurassic Park? Foreman's been extinct since the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is about this thing. Why? Are triceratops, Baloo. How do you know the scientific term triceratops? Also, hold on a second. Hold the fuck on. What the fuck is that? What the fucking hell is that? I don't want those triangles to eat me. Triceratops toy? They are not triceratops. They're fucking abominations. If that's a triceratops, then this is a velociraptor. They don't even have three horns. This looks like someone drew a centrosaurus skull from memory and forgot where to put the eye. And they put sharp teeth on them, because all dinosaurs are meat eaters, right? How unfamiliar with dinosaurs do you have to be to come up with this? Oh wait, this was animated by North Koreans. So just like how European people in the medieval times had no idea what an elephant actually looked like, these North Koreans have no idea what a triceratops looks like. And I thought Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom was bad for having a ceratopsian with actual holes in its head. We are now witnessing one of the best anime fights of all time, where a pack of triceratops take down a sauropod, complete with the most epic roars you have ever heard. But because this show is for little kids, there is no blood in this fight, so it just looks ridiculous. Once the sauropod dies from its non-existent wounds, the pack starts feeding on their prey. Oh, that's awful. I've never seen anything so vicious. You're a fucking lion. What the fuck do we even eat? The gang wanders through the valley and comes across a dogfight between a pterosaur and an Archaeopteryx. Probably the best animal designs in the show. Oh, take cover! Why do you take cover? Just because Archaeopteryx is an animal from Germany does not automatically mean it's part of the Luftwaffe. What the fuck is happening? Be careful, that water's hot. It's boiling, watch out! How did an Archaeopteryx falling into water cause it to boil? This isn't a phoenix. Come on out everybody, it's safe now. In this TV show, things just randomly start and stop. Uh, I need you all to trust me. Don't think for a second that I'd ever let my magic cape out of my sight. Wait, what? He has a magic cape? Did he just pull this out of his ass? Uh-oh. Look, it's reused animation. Hurry, you guys, everybody under here. Whoa. <laughs> well, what? The cape makes him invisible? Seriously, why don't you just use this all the time? And by the way, this TV show predates all Harry Potter books. So, is this where J.K. Rowling got the idea for Harry's invisible cloak from? Meanwhile, the poodle is pissing off a dinosaur. But he needs a few frames to materialize. It's like watching the end of Avengers Infinity War in reverse. Oh. <sighs> Perfect voice acting, 10 out of 10. Leave him alone. Holy shit, he shot the fucking laser out of his paw right into its face. And now he's flailing around like he's on a sick rave. Hey, Finn, did you 
see that? He fried the skin right off of his head. Boy, that was something. Yes, he fucking murdered it. I'm sorry, but I didn't know. And it was big, just like a Don't real tree. Don't worry about it. How could you confuse this for a tree, you pissnelke? Meanwhile, Shere Khan and the hyena are finally entertaining the fort to just enter the goddamn cave. Stop cackling like that! I gave you an order! Okay. So this valley of time really exists. I thought it was nothing but an old legend. Yes, did you see that? Yes, did you see that? Is this a subliminal message? Or a cry for help from the animators? Look! It's reused animation! This is a nightmare. Yes, it fucking is. And he runs back into the cave like a little pussy. And this is the main villain of this show. Anyway, Simba does the Hitler salute and then the first episode ends. The next episode starts with them seeking shelter in a cave. What's that? It looks like a big lava pit. AXL, I'll bet we can get our shirts dry in no time and all the wrinkles will be gone. Good idea, then we'll be all warm and toasty. Take a nice long nap. Yeah, because lava's only hot when you directly touch it. In fact, they were more afraid of hot water than freaking lava. The ground is shaking, but it's not an earthquake. It's just the newest victim of some inflation fetishes from DeviantArt. This is supposedly a baby dinosaur, but it looks more like Disney's reluctant dragon, though this one is more open about expressing his homosexuality. Stop it! Seriously, you can't convince me he is not trying to fuck that bear. <laughs> Did you hear that? I gotta go now, my friends are gonna leave without me. It was nice meeting you. That's something I'd never want to repeat. Bye bye, mama. No, stop that! Yes, they really made a flashback to a scene that happened 40 seconds ago. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Baloo leaves the rest of the group to search for honey, because these plots only function through the sheer idiocy of everyone involved. How can such a giant dinosaur fit into a shallow lake? Why is his mouth glowing? Why are there now two of them? Why are these dinosaurs voiced by human actors? Why can a baby dinosaur shoot lightning bolts? All right, here we go. What the fuck is happening? It looks like they're beating them back. What? Okay, I need a second. Again, this scene shows how limited the world view of these poor North Korean animators really is. I guess they watched some old Godzilla movie and thought that was representative of dinosaurs in general. So that's why they gave these dinosaurs glowing mouths and the ability to shoot lightning. <laughs> wow, he's Hi. a big boy! For you. There is no rhyme or reason to your animal group anyway, you fucking racist. But he can't touch my ball without permission. What if he tries to eat one of us? He won't. He's strictly vegetarian, like me. How can you know that? Aren't all dinosaurs in this universe sharp-toothed carnivores? So they adopt the dinosaur into their team, because he can protect them. And his oh, tail glows oh. whenever there's danger nearby. Yeah, sure, why not? It's glowing. What he's sensing <gasps> is an earthquake. Or at least what these North Koreans think an earthquake looks like. I mean, look at that! What the fuck is happening? Earthquakes don't deform the ground that much. This looks more like someone is melting Play-Doh. And where the hell are our protagonists standing while this shit is going on? Ah, oh wait, there he is. Oh no, wait, uh, what? No, no, wait, we are back to watching the Earth go on a bad acid trip. I mean, the animators have no sense of orientation. Wait, what? 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 Everything's being destroyed! Including the laws of physics! Keep moving everyone and we'll try to find shelter further on! It's the only chance we have! How do you find shelter from an earthquake? Damn, that snake is fast! Shake your ass! Watch yourself! Well, thanks to this show, I now have a catchphrase. It's called What the fuck is happening?
They are now trapped on this cliff. So how are they going to get out of the situation? By asking a magic tree, of course. Yeah, I'm not even going to question that. Arbor told me how to rescue you! <laughs> Thank goodness you made it! I knew Arbor would always look out for us. Go ahead, Ludwig. <sighs> you need to use your star powers to make that tree over there bend this way! He'll reach across to make a bridge that will get you off this cliff! Ready? Why did you need to ask a tree for this? Couldn't you have figured that out yourself, you dense idiots? At the end of the second episode, they march into the sunset. As a child, I never learned how they actually got out of the valley, so I looked up the next episode on their official YouTube page. They wander through a desert, the bear's teeth are clattering and all these animals are too stupid to figure that out, so for half the episode they are just scared of nothing. You think we're in danger? They walk through another cave and are suddenly back home. The lion even sheds a fucking tear. <laughs> they meet the great deco tree from the Legend of Zelda. They arrive at the Taj Mahal which has Easter Island statues and Simba assembles an army of animals to fight against Shere Khan because remember him? The main villain of this show? Ferocious. <laughs> This TV show is the worst thing I have seen as a child. The characters are one dimensional, the designs are ripped off by people who don't even understand what they're ripping off, the voice acting is atrocious, the random superpowers are ridiculous, the plot is a string of nonsense, and now that I know that this was animated by a North Korean studio that probably didn't know any better, I just feel uncomfortable. I just wanted to revisit these two episodes because I had to bring closure to these questions that have been haunting me since my childhood. And I am glad that after about 20 years I can now finally put this one to rest. See you next month when Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom premieres. Goodbye und auf Wiedersehen. Hello darkness my old friend. I've come to talk with you again Because a vision softly creeping Left its seeds while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains within the sound of silence Restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turned my collar to the cold and damp When my eyes were stared By the flash of a neon light It split the night And touched the sound Silent